What's up guys, it's Ray. Welcome back to my channel. And today's video, I'm going to show you guys alternatives to blending stumps slash tortillons. And basically these are just tools that help you smudge and blend uh, during your drawing process. But no, I understand that like sometimes it's hard to come around, you may not know where to get them, or they just might be expensive. So today we're going to do some DIY and also some stuff that you have lying around the house that work just as awesome as blending tools. All right, so starting off, I'm using a number two HB pencil on 50 pound paper, and it's really smooth, uh, so I won't have like a lot of distortion of the blending. And I'm just doing like a basic swatch right here of graphite, and I'm going to blend every single swatch that I do out. So the first one I'm going to use is the infamous Tortillin, and I'm using this first, that way you guys can compare the products that I show you compared to an actual blending tool. And of course, it performs great, it's very precise, but I understand, not everybody may be able to have access. So, let's move on to number two. All right, so the first thing I'm going to show you guys is actually a paintbrush, and a lot of professional artists use paintbrushes to blend out their work because it gives such a soft blend to the work. And the good thing about this is that you can use it over and over and over again, and you don't have to worry about going out and buying new tortillas or blending stumps. You can just wash this one off and start all over again. So on to number two, and this is by far my favorite, and that is an eyeshadow sponge. This is the first time I actually used one for blending and I was just blown away with how beautiful it blended out. Like I couldn't believe how evenly it distributed the product and how it softened everything. So if you're looking for like really soft shadows, um, specifically like if you're doing human figure or something, this, this is it guys. This is it. And honestly, it might be too good to be true. Roll that slow-mo. Ah, so nice. All right, so for this next one, you would probably have it in your bathroom as we speak. And if you don't have it, you probably have easy access to go get it from pretty much any store in your region. And that is... Q-tips. Yes, those wonderful cotton swabs. And I don't have to explain. Y'all already know what's going on, so I'm just going to fast forward it and you guys can see just how well it works. Not bad, huh guys? I like to use Q-tips whenever I'm doing watercolor because they absorb so well. So that's another tip you should try. So next up in the ball game, we got a paper towel. And I know, I know all you guys have this at your house. At least every single person has one roll. But basically, all I'm going to be doing is just folding it in half and folding that in half and just basically folding it until it's like a really sturdy little square. And honestly, before I knew what blending tools were, I would do this all the time. And they never let me down. Seventh grade, Ray was really into paper towels. And as you can see here, it's a pretty good transition. All right, next up is the exact same method, but with 50 pound sketch paper. And I'm just going to be doing the exact same thing, folding it up and using the very corner tip of it to blend out. And if you don't have any tools whatsoever, but you just have pe pencil and paper, yeah, this is what's up. All right, this next method of blending, if I put it in my video, I get a lot of crap for it. And that is blending with your finger. Sometimes you just don't have access to blending equipment and, or you just like blending with your fingers, you know, that's fine. I do it all the time and yeah, I love it. So for this last method of blending, I just want to apologize in advance for the reflection of the light. I will insert pictures and video of what it looks like um, without the reflection, but that is using a pencil to blend out. You know, um, a lot of the pencil sets, they come with different pencils uh, of different shades and darknesses and lightnesses. And that's basically so you can learn how to shade with just pencils and without smudging. And it gives a really precise, crisp look to your drawings. 
As promised, here's the video of me kind of like covering up the light with my hands so the reflection doesn't show through. And you can see it just takes a little bit more effort to learn how to blend with pencils, but you can do it. I believe in you. All right, that's all the video I have for you today. If you have any questions, leave them down below and I will try my best to answer them. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. I love you guys and I love all your awesome support. If you guys want to follow me on my Instagram, you're more than welcome to do so. Um, other than that, I will see you guys next time.